um, today I am Kelvin Atta, and I'm here to teach you what is called information and communication what technology. Okay, basically, on this um, whiteboard, you have what you call information and communication what technology. Now, someone, someone will ask you, what is information? What is communication? What is technology? Now, some of you hearing this one for the very first time, you might see it as something that is, I mean, something you've not even heard it, you've not heard of it before, or something that is hideous. But today, I'm going to make it very simple for you to understand. Now, before you can go to information, you need to understand what is term data. Now, on this whiteboard, you have one plus one. It's because it's a, an empty box that is over there. Now, the one here represents what you call a data. The one also here is also called a data. Now, the question is, this box, what are we looking for? We are looking for an information. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? Now, one, you add another one to it, what will be the answer? Two. Wow, powerful. So the answer is what? Two. Now, when someone writes one plus one, does it really make sense to you? No. Unless you get the answer, that is what? Two. Now, the answer two here represents what you call what? Information. Please, do you understand? Now, this one, I have C plus A plus C. Now, when I tell you to explain this C plus A plus C, you'll not be able to what, explain it. What are we trying to say? You're going to say that you have to add the C plus the A plus the T. Now, when we add the C, A and T, what answer are you going to get? Cut. cut. Now, good. You have the cut over here. Now, the cut here also represents what you call what? Information. And then the one here used to represent what you call what? Data. Now, before the data can become information, it needs to pass through what you call what? A process. Now, if I have this is one and this is one, I need to bring them together. Bringing them together is a process. When I bring them together, now the answer will be what? Two. So a data needs to pass through a process before it can become what you call what? An information. Now, this brings to our topic called data. Now, from the illustration being done over here, we can say that data, they are raw facts, like numbers, alphabets, pictures, and what? Symbols. So data are raw facts such as numbers, alphabets, symbols, etc. Now we use the illustration based on the illustration that we have over here. We say that this one is an alpha, uh, is a number, and the C is what an alphabet. So the one plus one will give us what two, and the two is now what we call what the information. Now C plus A plus T. Now the C is also what you call what the what the alphabet. So the C plus A plus T will give you what you call what cut. Now the cut now becomes what you call what information. Now, the computer that we are using in our various homes or various um, clinics or banks and all this stuff, now the computer is going to use what you call the information. But before the information must come, it must uh, start with what you call data before it now becomes what you call what information. Now, per what the illustration that you've done over here, we are saying that data are rough facts such as numbers, alphabets, symbols, Etc. Now, per the illustration, how will we define what you call what information? Now, let me get information. Now, based on illustration, you said this one, the one is what data. This one is a symbol. It's also called what data. This one is also one. It's also called what data. This one is a symbol. It's also called what? Data. This one is a box. Now, we are going to, this data must pass through a procedure, pass through a process, and we'll get what you call what? Information. So now, we are looking for the information here. Now, what is the name of the information that we, uh, what is the answer to the information over here? The answer is what? Two. 
So how did we arrive at the two? The data passes through what you call what a process. It passes through what you call a step. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? So now, when we say information, information simply means information simply means a process data. Information simply means what? A process data. Now we have the, the C plus the A plus T. These are all what? Data. It will pass through and will, a, a process and we'll get what you call the information. And the information will now call what? Cuts. Please do you understand? That is information. Now, without the information, you cannot communicate to your what? To any other what? Technology. Please, are you getting the point now? You cannot use data to communicate, but we use what you call information to communicate. Please, are you getting the point now? Now, let's move on. Now, we have sources of what? Data. When we say data, the source of data, we are, it simply means where do we get our data from? We can get our data from so many places. Now, assuming that I come into your house, okay, when I'm in your house, assuming something has happened over here in your house, there, there was a shot or whatever it is, and a policeman comes around. The policeman will just come, please, what happened? What was the cause of it? Now, when the policeman will be asking you questions, asking you, oh, you will be doing some audio recording. What do you say? What happened? Oh, there was a shot. The policeman will be taking pictures and all this stuff. The policeman is gathering what you call what? Data. But the policeman cannot conclude that this person what? Kill this man. Please, are you get what I'm saying? So the pictures that the policeman will be taking, the video recording that the policeman will be doing, and the audio recording that the policeman will be recording, they are all data. Now the policeman will now gather it together and now draw conclusion that now this person killed this particular what? Man. Now if I come to your house and I gather the data, we call it primary source of what? Data. So now moving on to the types of data. Sorry, sources of data. Now we have we have two sources of what data. Where do we get our data from? And I gave you an example that if I come to your house and there is a shot, if a policeman comes, asks all these questions, taking videos, pictures, doing audio recording within that particular house, we call that an, a primary source of data. So it is called primary source of data. Some people say internal because it is what? Within internal source of data. Now, assuming that there was a gunshot outside your home, and you go and the policeman comes outside your home asking those people who was passing by, so what happened? Oh, there was a gunshot. I saw a certain man wearing a mask, shooting someone, doing all this stuff. Now, was that thing within your house? It was what? Outside. So when the thing is outside, we call it secondary source of data or external source of what? Data. So the next one is called the secondary or external now how many source of data do you have over here two they are primary source of data or secondary source of data in your examination they can ask you a question that the type of data that is collected within the organization is called a primary source of data b secondary source of data, C, uh, auxiliary source of data, the answer will be what? Primary source of data. Now, in examination, they can ask you, the type of data that is collected outside the organization is termed as A, primary source of data, B, internal source of data, and C, secondary source of data. The answer is what? Secondary source of data. So I'm urging all of you to know the two main sources of what? Data. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, if assuming the policeman comes and then there is a gunshot, the policeman needs to do certain things to gather that data. Now the question is, method of collecting what data? How will you collect your data? Now we have methods of collecting data. Methods of collecting data.
Now, how will you do it? Everybody has his own way of collecting data, but we have four main methods of collecting data that we are going to talk about today for you to what, understand. And I hope you are following me as I'm going step by step. Okay. Now, if you don't understand anything at the end of the video, you can just ask your question and be able to give you your feedback. Now, there are four sources of data that I want to explain over here. Now, assuming that the policeman comes right now and they see a lot of people around, the policeman will ask you, what happened? Oh, a policeman, I saw a man wearing black thing, all this stuff, and the, the black man came and passed by and then he was holding a gun. And the, the, what the policeman is doing is what we call interview. Interviewing them, asking them questions, what happened? So the first method of collecting data is what you call interview. Now, when the policeman comes to your house, the policeman sees the blood on the floor. Now, the policeman will be looking at it, observing it from where the blood started to the end of where the blood is. Now, what is the policeman doing? The policeman is not doing what? Observing it. So the another method of collecting data is what? Observation. Now, the third one, when the policeman comes around, I said, okay, from this distance and this distance, from where the dead body is and from, from where the blood is, I could see that the man was standing from this direction and then he shot the man from this direction. He was doing what you call surveying the thing to see how closer the gunshot is. So the next step that you can use to collect that particular data is what you call survey. So the next step is called what? The survey. And the last one, Last one that we use to collect data is very simple. Now, the policeman will come with what you call a sheet of paper, and the policeman will be asking you a question and be taking it. Now, so were you here when this incident happened? Yes, you take it. So, when you were here and you saw you heard the gunshot, what were you doing? I was at the kitchen. Okay, apart from the kitchen, after the kitchen, where did you go? I went to my husband's bedroom and all this stuff. Now, when the policeman is asking you a question and taking it from that particular sheet of paper, the method is the method that the policeman is using to collect what? Data. So the next step is using what you call questionnaire. The next step, the last one, is what you call questionnaire. First of all, we talk about what data is all about. We said data are rough facts such as numbers, alphabet, symbols, etc. We also moved on to talk about what to call information. Information cannot just come about. It is the data that will be transformed to become what to call what information. So we said information is a transformed data or a processed what data. We also talked about the um, sources of data. Where can we get our source of data from? We talk about two main. We talk about the primary source of data and then what the secondary source of data. There are several methods of collecting data, but today we are going to focus on the four main methods of collecting data. The first one that we talk about is what interview. The second one that we talked about is what observation. The third one is what survey, and the last one is what questionnaire. And um, those watching us, you can go online. You can just um, post your comment, uh, your questions over there, and we'll be able to answer you for you to understand it and understand it very well. Thank you very much for watching us. God bless you.